I think this is the first time reggae music will be not only vis be visible on pirate stations, but also major stations. Equal plan? No, I agree with you, you know, because since the um the, the concert has been announced, you know, mm -hmm. I mean I get emails, John Masuri, you know, that journalist, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's the hottest thing in England right now. Yeah, and people because, call me already, I do interview with me. Yeah, because it's the first time in the history of um our music that you're gonna have two weeks continuously uh, of reggae music every that, night every night it and not only happened. the music too but you go have sound system at play yeah exactly just how many hours oh gosh man and you have m movies ashore a whole package a total jamaican yeah. yes package. it's a whole jamaican feel you know yeah. it's, it's a celebration yeah. of jamaica that i don't think we're gonna see this again in our time yeah so so may i say to know may i say now that the power of the music is in that, in such a state we you know that everybody has said, why the music disappear. And once again, we see another foreigner come and take the music again now and put it in a place where it's one of the most, the way the world, prestigious mm -hmm. venues in England. It's almost like a landmark. Because every time yeah. they show England now, it's like them show Big Ben now, you know, them show that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that, that, that the old two players arena, you know, it's like it's a landmark now, but it 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 it, it lifts the thing. It lifts the thing. You know the time when reggae re music really need a lift, you know, outside of Jamaica and inside of Jamaica. It lifts the thing to a next level you now, where you have a selection of artists that is going to show off them talent you now to. People outside. I don't know how much people will attend each night, even though we hear of this big crowd we are going to go um, the Olympics. I don't know how much filtering of people will filter into this place at night time. I know because I use the coordinator, you will say every night will ram. I will come out of them. You know, every man will make a tune, he said, I'm going to go to the you know. <laughs> every, every artist will take a tune, but say, Boy, it's not tune. I can mash down the world, you know. But you know something more? Yeah, yeah. I had a three hour meeting on the phone with the top security. The and security? The security for the, um, for the, for the Olympic Games. Yeah. Because, you know, the, the showground is on the complex of the Olympic. Right? And because it's. The not, O2 you're talking about? Yes. Because the part of the O2 is where the basketball and the gymnastic we'll part be, will go on. Will, yeah. will, will, right. will be going on. Mm -hmm. So it is part of the Olympic complex. Mm -hmm. So the security is extra tight. Matter of fact, um, the artist almost had to come off at the bus and walk about 300 yards to security. But this evening, to, to, to reach a venue? Yeah, but this evening we changed it up. You hear that? You no, wait there, wait there, wait there. Where are you now? Yes. The, the, do we have the security still you now? We have to walk almost 200 yards to reach inside of the venue? The yes. To itself? Yeah, because what had happened is that if every vehicle has to stop at a certain point. Oh, yeah, because the security, the right. And, 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 and um, equipment, cameras, anything, to even check. keyboard, yeah. has to go through like you're going to an airport. Okay. That kind of situation, mm. right? Mm. And then um each person has to walk through. They have a ton load of um that security thing that you walk through, mm. right? So everybody has to go through that. So what we did this evening is to arrange a way where in the, the vehicle can come to the back of the building, right? But mm. everything else, like equipment and so has to go through. There's no 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 no, no yeah. nothing it can't change that. Mm -hmm. It has to go through the security checkpoint, right? And everything has got to be checked. If you have a bag in it, and it has to go through the, the mm -hmm. security checkpoint. So they sent this out. So it's not only glad anything where man does a walk or a show. No, man. man. And, uh, and people have to have accreditation if they're not artists and they come in that artist. So there's a form they have to fill out. Like when you're born, where you come from, <laughs> your email address. You know, it is so tight, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I felt good somewhere. about it still, you know, because at least we know we're secured, you know, and that was one of the key things. If you watch the news last week, you see that they brought in about 14,000 more. Yeah, the um, government, because the, the company where them did to franchise it out, couldn't, couldn't train enough people in time. Right, so, so they had to bring in the army. Yeah, they had to bring in the army. 
to take mm. up that slot, you know what I mean? Mm. But um, the vibe on it is great, you know. Believe you me, I've never f feel so elated about s something for Jamaica. All right, so let me ask you a question now, because we still get into the meat of the matter, right? Mm -hmm. If the security is like that, that means uh, the organizers of this concert have to be very precise, because you know how we stay, you know. We is like, if we supposed to get a pass, I will not get the pass. I will go at the gate. We all shout down somebody, you know. We are supposed to be the punish one. And I said, no, well, where is the pass? It's not the punish one. I said, but the people, them supposed to give me my pass. And them said, me come here, so me will get it. No, well, you're not even going near the building with that. Every Everybody will get their accreditation and passes from before you leave the hotel. Four and you'll be transported. Listen to me. I went through this evening. You'll be transported in transports that is organized by the, the AG. Promoters. Yes. You see, and brought to the building, yeah. then you have to go through the regular. So, what to all the sound check them now? They like all the the sound check. Yeah, all the equipment, part. everything that's coming there, we have to go through the security. No, I mean, so, the, the accreditation, the accreditation that got done at the hotel, out of the world. You're going to get it at the hotel, right? And they have been advising everybody that once you come to the venue, they're going back and forth, going to be very tedious because a half an hour journey can take you three and a half hours. Mm. So what they do now, you know, you know they have cable cars. Yeah, they have road built too. They have road yeah. built just specifically from Specific. the Olympic Stadium too. They have cable cars like what, in um, Switzerland, mm. from the Olympic Village really straight down to the O2. Mm. You know, so people can use it to come down, you know, over the river. Yeah, but we now come from the Olympics village to the hotel. I know, but, they, you know, so it make it easier if people have to come from there to come down to yeah. the hotel. Because the streets are going to be packed. And they're advising that once you leave the hotel, you know, and you come to the venue, if you come to the sound check, let's go and stay and done. Because oh, you have to stay. Yeah, it don't make sense to go back to the hotel to come back again to do what? But yeah. you stay there, I mean, the place is the ambience. Yeah, suppose you want food. Don't worry, the place have everything. No, in a O2. Yes. Okay, because I know mean, McDonald's. I don't have McDonald's. I will control the O2. No, too. no, no. My kitchen going control the O2. And oh, because Papa Levi, when name we have the sauce, the sauce yeah. thing we have kitchen there too. Yeah. In the O2. Yes, okay. in the O2. Okay. Okay. You know, so we have the Jamaican food. Can you know say in, in the village, in the the way name there. The stadium and Matt Dallas are over there. Yeah, so me here, you know, what yeah, can go and Mat Mr. Dana. No, no, you know. So we are saying now, a man like me now who cook my own thing and team, he can't carry it with me. Oh man, you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go on the X-ray vision and a man who's taking gloves and putting them and feeding it up. <laughs> <laughs> so he put all the gloves and say, oh, what is this? And you tell him to boy right now, you want to say, it's some couscous, you know. He might say, what is couscous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he must take them gloves and dig your throat and say, wait, them, them Jamaica, they have a ganja and eat the rice, you know. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said, give it when you eat one time, we're coming from Europe already. And they ground the plane for one hour because yeah. he was mixing up him stuff to eat and the lady look over and saw the white powder yeah. and she get up and go to the back of the plane and say that guy beside me yeah. is taking some drugs <laughs> poor Gibby never know we still got to play when see some man just walk in and take him out and take down him knapsack with and him look at him figure out yeah carry him outside man yeah. with him pat and him pan and to everything and then when they found out is that the stewardess come and mm -hmm. apologize and said the lady beside him was the one who came and said yeah. he had some powder looking thing that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had me just half in our face of a minute. I found the person poor Gibby. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll be actually saying that over every minute, my calf. I got to turn around and look for that calf. Yeah, but no, so security, you see, sometimes the security kind of overboard more time in them places. See, all the map, you know, them send me, you know. Yeah. yeah. You, see, you get it when you go, yeah, when you see. Yeah, the map, the map, the pan line still. But no, this is a special route to the O2 for us. For the, for the artists, yes, yeah, for the artists, them. I just send it up. So what is your guest them now? You have to get pass, guest pass? Yeah, but you, see, you have to get the names them at a time. Yeah. Right. Them we have about a hundred guests. Some don't know that our world. <laughs> guess who is coming to get us now? That's why certain man can't go for them show, you know, because we have guest list. Like I don't know if we can't hold it at the video. <laughs> All right, so... Let me ask about this this um this this thing because the venue is is a place where different different things happen in the venue. Right. The venue have all shopping places. It have paraphernalia as a sell so you know it have different theaters a go on so and them thing there. Is there a specific like all right on is it Indigo O2 the Shuaki? Mm -hmm. 
All right. We're going to have access to all the pl everywhere. Like um, when you go in at the, the O2 itself, mm -hmm. you have access to everywhere. You have access to to go to the indigo. The artist is going to have access to all access to everywhere. I mean, I mean, when we say all access to them, I mean, if you want to go over to the comedy place, you can go. If you want, can you see him promote that? Yeah, 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 everything. You can have all. access to go over this one. Yeah, the artist is going to have all access pass to go over to the proud. Mm. You know, yeah, the proud. To, yeah, the proud to, you know, see what's going on over there, to go over where the restaurant mm. is, to go up to the bubble mm. where, where Jimmy, Jimmy House is. House going to be. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's going to be an all access thing for the artists, them, you know. Um, so when you go down there another day, you just stay down there and just yeah, go over later. Yeah, yeah, where's the point? Like you got to work. Right. What's the point of going back to the hotel? Go sit down Look on the four walls when so mm. many things are going to be right in the bubble right there. Yeah. You know, the whole world will be passing through there, you know, and that's why they really have the security. So, I'm going to let me know about our shoes. I'm going to tell say, Excuse me, sir, you cannot come in here without shoes. <laughs> yeah. You remember what happened in Miami when me and you walking through? The man said, Excuse me, sir, you can't leave your shoes down there. And you said, Keep it until I return. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, What oh, oh, that go? Tell me, how that go? Them not dress code and all these things. No, 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 no dress code. No, no, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Just, just, yeah, yeah. You just, a man now look at my foot and say, I wonder if I have a time bomb on and then I'm going to like, say, if I have a shoes. <laughs> so, it's so, gonna, it's a man put a hey, watch out. I go through the airport already and I'm, them put the weight them down and I'm a foot, you know. Yeah, what them call it? The, the, the little yeah, me know thing. They put it on my foot, you know, I say, wait, them people are not easy. Well, them put it in on my foot when was coming from Chicago. No, but your foot have enough things on it and your foot big. Your foot look like it have enough things on it. No, I'm talking about the brook. You know, that man said, but you have anything over it too. Yeah. Yeah, but me don't have nothing for my foot. So I'm going to take, I'm saying, what's all up my foot bottom? And he put the match, he put the stick thing. Hey, I'm sure I hear, I should have a pillar in my bottom of my foot. But just joke me. I just joke me. I just joke me. I just stick up in my foot. <laughs> like like today because I carry that I don't mind that go so. That carry that I don't mind I don't mind that go so. 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 Why you know that thing said the machine that work? You know that's up me and for me you know. You know me have to show her. Me have to show her my shot. So it have some metal um, button. Mm. Because she don't blame the machine you know. I mean I say but the metal button never go after the mama. I say oh the metal button. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so, all right. We have a problem here where we really want to talk about tonight as, as part of the whole group of ones who are go up there. And I think we can talk represented most of the artists them and musicians who's going. Mm -hmm. And we also want to talk to the people them in England. We want to talk to the people them in England because we know, say, this show, why, um, the success of this show depends on a whole heap of the, the people them in England who love reggae music, who never actually go to the Indigo, but pass there, and I say, big people place that, you know. You <laughs> can't go to that place there, you understand? But they just go out of the bridge that thing, and the acne, and all the way in So they get a chance of go around. Plus, Muta Baruch got performed there. First time. Yeah, Muta Baruch got performed there. So, me I expect to see the people them who say, them just to coach in it, love Muta Baruch. And Abyssinians, I want to say a, a beautiful sister for the first name Janine, yes. and a brethren named Benjamin Zephaniah, for come out Monday the 30th, mm -hmm. for come view the show. Yeah. But apart from that, now, as I said before, I know Copeland is the coordinator for the Jamaica, the, the, the connection with the artists, liaison between the artists and one thing. And Copeland is trying to sell the, the promoter that. All of the show them guys sold out. Of course. Why you feel so? Because I mean, I feel so. It's different days. You know what Weekends I mean? Weekends drop a bit bigger crowd. Yeah. I mean, we know about the people that we have passed through and all them things there. But tell me why you feel so, the 12th night. Let me tell you something, right? Yeah. This is the first time. So this is history. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, the amount of people that's going to be coming through that era mm -hmm. um, from all over the world. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Um, reggae has taken on, um, I mean, uh, one of the greatest. Proportion. Yes. Yeah. You know, I mean, and we have a lot of followers, you know. Mm -hmm. And i tell you the truth. I have gotten um, emails as far away from Australia that yeah. people are coming to, to the event to, to see Respect Jamaica show. Yes. You know, so I feel positive that every night is going to be sold out. All right, let me ask you, you know? a question. You think, all right, 
sons sons play. I'm gonna talk about some face. Some face are three night. I'm gonna talk about Ratatam. I read a time all two weeks and all him, mm. right? We understand. I'm going to talk about some face. I'm going to talk about some face. Some face are three night. Mm. But the biggest night to some face have most of the time is the dance all night. So them try to balance it now and them have apparently them seem to be having big nights, three nights. Mm. You know, like he's not only the dance all night now captivate the people, but them put a soul artist like a, a Kelly for one night when you know, a dance all day and mm -hmm. him still draw a crowd. That's all. So I am assuming that given where you are said it now about the sold out behavior and given that it's more than twenty thousand people, because I don't think twenty thousand people can hold in a some fest any given night. Maybe they have twenty thousand people. In a, any given night, so we are talking about three twenty. Or we are how much people you feel have passed through the indigo per day? The who you think are going to go at the show? All right, the estimated that thirty thousand people are passing through there every day. The not indigo. going to the, yeah, that going to the show. No, passing but through things were up. Yeah, yeah, passing through there. Yeah, right. They said at least thirty thousand people will be going through there every day, every day, every single day. Now, one of the things that we have is that each night have a different variety. Yeah. Right? It's not like just every night. You just like a, a regular concert. Yeah. We have one night we, we have the big big people night that we call with Sly and Robbie, with Monty Alexander yeah. and Ernie Wrangling, you know. Yeah. So that we enjoy a different kind of set of people. Energy, yeah. Yeah. Different yeah. energy right there and then. You know, yeah. you have the night when you have the dog poet that never yeah. see. We never yeah. see that at a concert yet. Yeah. We're night dedicated to that. Yeah. That kind of situation. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have people who love all the different, the different mm -hmm. aspects and the different mm -hmm. genre of the music. You have the, 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 the oldest, the oldest night, so to speak, the, the DJs where you have big, um, big, yeah. um, the, um, you, Roy. And you have, and you feel, say, you have people who also will buy all a season ticket for all of the night. Yes. Because they're in England. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, them do that some fest. Yeah. Them just buy a season ticket for all the night, them. We have a still. <laughs> we have I mean, it, 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 it's all simple because 2,500. Yeah, that's why, that's why I don't, that's why, yeah, that's why I don't feel, I don't mm. feel no way about it. You don't I feel, feel no yeah. way about it. I mean, I tell him, say, don't worry about it. The tickets are gonna, you know, reggae concert, you, you, you don't really have, um, people don't hack up the tickets right ticket. away. Peace you know what I mean? Yeah. The hack up is always where the, yeah. the great part of it is. And, I mean, look at Junior Gang of two nights. Yes. You know what I mean? With the family, you know, with, with him and, um, Steve, and him and yeah. the whole family. Yeah. Going, 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 Kanga and take yeah. Charlie. Wayne Marshall and. Yeah. You know, Black Joe, Amaya and all Yeah, man. Joe Mercer, which is Stephen's son, you know, yeah, 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 DJ. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, um, yeah, Steve and Julian and all of them going to be there with the brothers. It's too okay. mild night there going to just rock the place. All right, sir. We're going to see that. We're going to see, we're going to see how it's going to work. I mean, me, me understand your enthusiasm, you know, and me, me can see that happen still, you know. Me can see that happen because based upon a festival where we go all over the world, mm -hmm. you see. You know, say this and this and this and that. And given the magnitude of the people them where I flow through London. Right. It's not like an ordinary festival. Where exactly. People just yeah. go to the festival. But people will be already there wanting somewhere to go. Exactly. In the evening. And them say, oh, you know, when name the Uri, I play over there so make and even after you, Ryan, and then finish, they still have something after that, Jashaka, mm -hmm. and then we'll be bubbling. Yeah, sound system going to. Yeah, and all yeah them, and till four o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? How oh, are the people in England are here we are going in now, the city? <laughs> <laughs> so, people in Atlanta, they don't hear we are going in that city, that's that Jamaica come in for it, you know. We are coming for it musically, we are coming for it athletic wise. We are coming for the country. This is the Jamaican invasion of England, you know. <laughs> Colonization in reverse, according to Miss Lou. <laughs> it's a serious thing. You understand? So, so the people can look out for it. It starts on the 25th, right? Yeah, man, with Brother Scratch Perry. Lee, it's, oh, Lee Scratch Perry started? Yeah, man. Game, man. No, Lee Scratch Perry started on the 25th. With Mad Professor Adam, man, eh? Yeah. Okay. And Junior Marvin, you know. Junior Mervyn still up on it? Yeah, Junior Mervyn. Oh, you just broke your foot like you. Well, <laughs> well me there. Me broke my foot. People, I'm upcoming. I wanted you to know that the big man, Copeland Farms, is working with stick from Chicago. 
My 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 lady say you should have sued Martin. You should have sued him. <laughs> Every day him call me, you know, and tell oh, your foot. foot. Your foot all right. Because when first said to him, listen, you're in serious trouble, you know. When it happened, <laughs> him said, listen, this is the leader of the delegation to, the, yeah, to yeah, England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if bro. something is ha happened to him, you're affecting the entire world. Yeah, it, but, yes. Yeah, so he went to Las Vegas with his wife a couple of days ago, and him doing sleep. You know, every minute him call me. How is the foot? It coming out now. So you're going to sue him? <laughs> you laugh. You laugh every time you say sue. All right. Joe him there. You're going to Joe him. <laughs> you're talking about sue and you laugh every time. All right. Cobra does sue him. I'm bridging. Yeah. I didn't have the money for pay Cobra because That's millions of dollars were to sue him. Oh, now. Jesus. Have yeah. mercy. Millions. The hospital bill alone. <laughs> <laughs> when I go down to this hospital, you know, yeah. and I'm carrying me in some room, I see some things over my head, I spin over, so, and carry my foot in some things, and I said, my God, what is this? All I was worried is that if I tear the cartilage in the knee, yeah. you know, because if, if that happened, then it's going to take months to heal. Mm -hmm. And I said to the doctor, I said, doctor, I have a delegation leading to London mm -hmm. for our 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And the 25th we're leaving, you know. So make sure my foot get better by then. Yes. So he was going to throw it in the cast. But I said, no, I can't yeah, take the cast thing. Yeah, too stiff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I put the braces over it and give me the crutch and say, must just keep it still and within seven to ten days go and say, I'm orthopedic. Mm. You know what I mean? And check it again and call him and, and yeah. uh, make it work. So, but I come it's on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. You know, me just come through a thousand of people. Are you, are you going to angle him when I go to the airport? <laughs> no, see you. You're going to leave the 25th too? No, we're not You know? And I can't make anything up to him. Well, you know, his sister Judy stayed with me all the way down from Chicago. The, the um, a little old woman, I go to the bathroom and she look and say, hey, Where's your wife? I said, Where's your wife? I do the body to attack. I said, I don't have a wife. We can't all do it and give to the airport, you know. Wife, I do, I do a mossy wife. <laughs> yeah, man, she was excellent. You know, yeah. she stayed with me everywhere. You know, make sure when the wheelchair set properly yeah. and all that stuff. It it looked awkward when yeah. I landed in Jamaica yeah. in a wheelchair. You know, yeah, it looked awkward for you. Yeah, yeah. But I tell you the truth, you know, if me reach out again, I be can't get the pass, but it be that syrupy, syrupy and that. Well, reach out again, I be have to balance. There were couple and there. Well, when we're leaving on Monday, it's a big contingent of us leaving, you know. The I trees. On Monday, you are left? Yes, we're leaving ahead of you all. Yeah. The I trees, Lloyd Parks, and we, the people band. Yes. And um, the. the, 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 the and about you, Rob? Yeah, we, we, we're doing one show in Mighty Garance. Diamonds. We get Garance Festival. Mighty Diamonds, mm -hmm. the planet. Taurus Riley, the planet. Mm -hmm. Um, you are smart, the planet. Mm, Freddie McGregor. Freddie McGregor, the planet. As a matter of fact, that show is actually dedicated to Jamaica's 50th because the promoter himself extended an invitation to me and said to me he would like to invite the Minister of Culture mm. to come. Who is the Minister of Culture again? <laughs> we can't remember what yeah. Minister of Culture. Um, Alisa Ada. Right. So I passed the message on to, to, to the, uh, the Secretariat, you know, and said, listen, Garance Festival is dedicating the entire festival to Jamaica's 50th and yeah. it's pure reggae acts on it. Pure this reggae year, acts, yeah, yeah. Amman, Everybody. the Morgan Heritage, yeah. you know, and Derek Morgan, what Bob and What them say? What them say? I passed them information and, and you don't get no second, answer. You know, get, as usual, you know, you the don't government, get there's a no answer government. You know what I mean? I just feel so embarrassed. There's a no answer government. Because you the promoter called me yesterday and mm. said, is anybody coming? I said to him, do me a favor. Tell him, say, motor will represent the government. <laughs> 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 Tell them who will represent the government. <laughs> Believe you me, because I understand this. Go this government is a no answer government. Them don't answer things. <laughs> you know, see, it's a serious thing. Them don't answer things, Rasta. Anyway, we, all right, so, when I left Monday, mm. we're we going to left later down. Right. And I'm going to know which part you're there. Well, uh, uh, the Hallmark Hotel. Work? The Hallmark, don't worry. You'll Me be not worry. Are you must worry. Don't listen now. Everyone will be picked up. Because this evening I went through a So like when I come to 20 seven, somebody will pick me up at the airport. Of course. Can't go away. Yeah, man. To the hotel. No, but you don't understand where I go on. You, know, you see it now that you're No, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me speak on you. Yeah. You are coming in a day before. Two days before my performance. Before your performance. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, you will be picked up. Because I, I gave the pickup company 
for the 27. For everybody's flight yeah. who's coming in from wherever part of the world. Yeah. And they have it. You know, what airport? Because you have three airports. You know, um, Ethro, mm -hmm. you know, Gatwick, Stansted. That will be running busy yeah. for them picking up people from here, there, and everywhere. People yeah. coming in from Europe. All right. So you are gonna, gonna pick me up and carry me go where? You'll be you'll be picked up and taken to your hotel, sir. But it's not the hotel me at stay. You know. Okay. The first two days that wherever you, you know, want to go. To me, I say no. You see, the day when me come, mm. me I go uh, go at the show in the night. Remember, I said that is why me I come at that time. Though. Yeah, but but you are going there somewhere else. No, I'll be at the venue. I, I, I right now, see the problem there now. So, me, I will come down at the venue now. Yes. Oh, me, I will get Copeland Father at the venue when because the security is so terrible. Sir, yes. if you listen to me and take I those take those earphones off your ears because something is wrong with your ears. It's it's sir, I have an earphone while I hear. Listen to me. You will be picked up at the airport by the official people from AEG. Yes. Right? And you'll be taken down to the venue to get your accreditation i'll be there because i'm going to be and there way you before you home. right and wherever you want to go you'll be taken there you, you have an all season pass you no, know that me ask you know Bridget, because me know say them thing i might sound nice yeah so you know but it's when you reach over there so now i reach at the airport and you see your name muta baroka you say all right me man say well you have to go down to the venue you know when you reach over the venue you know you hear say why you have no pass you know, Copeland, Copeland, them guys in Birmingham. Where are you at Birmingham? Me don't know, I don't be a try to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't try to pick up. I'll be living at, at, at the O2. Yeah, all right. So, all right. Well, we, uh, anyway, give me some number there, average. Give me some whole heap of number. Because I can't take the embarrassment, you know. No, you, you worry too much, man. Me, what do you mean? You worry too much, Experience man. teach wisdom, man. What do you mean? Anyway, it's a nice lineup. And the people they might wonder why we keep talking about this show. And we just tell the people them say it's one of the, the sweetest thing I ever say happen for reggae music inside of England for years, maybe the first. And we do this also for the people them in England. Because we want the people them in England to turn out and know so them favorite artists are come for them way. And this is something where I represent Jamaica at its highest level, considering that Jamaica is in the forefront of what is happening in England now. There's nobody denying that. Whenever I watch a talk show you know, about the Olympics, especially the one in America, them ask them athletes. And when them athletes, even if they ask them a question about Jamaica, they start to mention Bolt, they start to mention this, they start to mention, they mention Jamaica. Even upon the little, the little comedy show them, where just make, you hear them a talk about Jamaica. They have some little thing for Jamaica for each night. So it's like Jamaica, this little island uh, is the is is the point of reference right now in uh, the world until August done. See? And what we are talking about now between me and Copeland as so now is one of the most important aspects of the Jamaica fifty, if not the most important aspect. Because we don't see the government set up nothing yet for really tell me say they might do something. You understand? Man, I talk about Jamaica village up a stadium and all them things. I'm beaming live from England and all this. As a matter of fact, we are decided so we now want nobody beam way. <laughs> like so we are Mr. Spots. <laughs> it has Star Trek. We don't want nobody beam way, you know, because we go through too much things. We go get a British visa. Yeah, man, you know, so we have to go up at the embassy and I tell the people them, say, watch out. This guy is terrible, you know, because me not see none of the athletes them up here stand up in another line, you know. I said, well, you don't know what most of the athletes them. I said, yeah, but you see, the athlete them do have to set up down the line. Somebody just come down and so bam, 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 and ding, 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 and them gone. Why we have to come down and so now come zing, 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 woom, 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 and I keep a conversation with people who we don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, it was tough, you know, I mean, yeah. tough, you know. Um, um, I kind of saw it coming and I, about three, four weeks ago, I sent out emails and said, you know, um, we should have a, a, a kind of, properly arranged way mm -hmm. of oh you know get the visa there. yes you know and the first thing that hit everybody right was the cost of it visa because um nobody nobody expected to pay 320 US, US dollar per to person. Go Can That's you like a plane for your first time. But look at poor light pass. It's yeah. seven people in I'm band. Oh, you call man poor. A rich, rich musician. That. <laughs> you might find... A PM now, I'll pay 320 dollar. A rich musician. Oh, 320, my view. Seven times that. 320. Seven but times. Me, me, ask, me, 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 me could start from the beginning, Bridget. Because mm. 
Yeah. One of the reasons why I'm glad to say they are so now is for really trash out something with how we now come to view. Who is the head of the Jamaica 50 committee? Who, who, who head that? Well, my understanding is um, the secretariat, that's the word used, and it's Mr. Robert Bryan. Robert Bryan is the head. Yeah. So who him answer to? I don't know. Him not answer to Damian Crawford. I'm not Damian Crawford. Where, 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 Lisa Anna. Him not answer to Lisa Anna. I don't know who. Him not answer to nobody. I don't know. I don't know. I all don't that take question. <laughs> I don't know how that will happen. All right. So never the Jamaica advised. 50 committee is headed by a man named Robert Bryan. Yeah, man. All right. We will call Robert Bryan name from the radio until 2 o'clock. Because it come like a him of the culprit in this thing here. Forget me in a so much aggravation. All right. Robert Bryan have a thing named through the auspices of governmental talk and talk at Jamaica 50. And where them are look about the Jamaica 50 celebration. Now that mm. that, 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 that though. Mm. All right. So, how we fit into that? Because it come like say we don't fit into that. We not fit into that because I know them are doing nothing for we. It's a private enterprise. Oh, well, this thing, let me tell you something now. Let me back up. Because me can't tell you how this whole thing come about. And we're going to get Tapazuki on the line too. You know what I mean? Because mm. I'm standing by. This school concept of this show in England came out when I took Gregory Isaac, the late Gregory Isaac, in 2009 to do a show in London at Victoria Park. It was promoted by AEG. Right? They were the promoters of the show. And when I went into the room to make the settlement, um, I hear somebody said, Copeland Forbes. And I turned around one in which hippie this. And then he, I see this guy and I'm looking at him and he said, do you remember me? And he turned around and said to everybody, oh, this, this brother from I was 19 years of age, you know, and we know each other. And, you know, when I was an, 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 an agent, you know, uh, trying to get acts out of Jamaica. He helped me and he sent me acts from Jamaica. And I realized it was Rob Allett, you know. So we kind of rekindled our friendship there and then, you know, because I knew him from, he was 19 years of age, you know, in the 70s. And then I started talking to him and tell him that in 2012, it's going to be my 50th anniversary, right? And I'd like to do something, you know. So he said, okay, just keep in touch with him. So last year, you know, about April, I sent him an email and said, listen, uh, next year is my 50th, you know, and I want to start to plan from now because the game's going to be happening and so on. Then he sent me back an email and said, you know something? We're here thinking the same thing like you, that it's Jamaica's 50th, right? And the game's going to be happening at the same time. Plus, part of our venue will be used for the um, basketball and the gymnastic part of the Olympics. So let's do something for Jamaica. I felt elated, you know, and felt good, and I said, fine. You know, so he, he sent me a list of about five artists. Because this thing wasn't planned as a two-week thing, you know. It's like a day or a two-day thing, you know. And the artists, them, you know, it was like um, Burning Spear name was on the list. The Mighty Diamonds, um, Tapazuki, Jabi, Bonuela, Toots and the Metals, you know. About six names were on it. And we started out really with that, you know. And then um, I sent an email to Jabi, you know, and um, he liked the idea. You know, and he knew about the company and then he referred me to his representative, which was Maxine Stowe, you know, and, um, she was involved in the planning and interjected quite a few things as we went along. And, um, each week we, um, we were having international call from any part of the world we are. AG would just book an hour, um, and give us toll free numbers. And we would call from any part of the world and we talk and discuss and plan and it was like planning and planning and planning and planning and planning and planning. And we started from last year, July, planning this thing. And then now uh, when we got to the fall, right, he went up to, to, to the Staples Center. You know, they own the Staples Center, they own the Galaxy and, you know, um, all this stuff. And he went to a conference there. Then he came back to me and he, he came back. And he called me and said, oh, Copeland, we're not going to do this thing again. I said, my, I said, why? He said, well, you know, we feel bad at this big corporation, right, for, um, competing against Jamaicans for Jamaica. So I said, what do you mean by that? He said, there's another entity putting on something similar in a park, and, you know, they are Jamaicans, so you don't think that you want to compete with them for Jamaicans. You know, and he pulled out. I mean, my head hurt me. I went up 
down, I started to worry, I, fret, I find every angle to keep him in the picture and said, no, no, no. And then I sat down and I did my homework, you know, and I got some blueprint, which I have here in a 32 page blueprint, you know, from uh, the company that's supposed to be helping the other people do. And because of my experience, I did some calculations and I knew where the other entity was going to be happening in, 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 in Finsbury Park. And I knew a lot of things around it. So I just told him that, listen, let's keep going with what we are doing and let's not worry about that. And it took him about 12 days. And then he called me and said, okay, let's get rolling on and start booking some acts. And then we started from there. And as we went along, it just started to expand, 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 expand. And then I heard about this other entity tied up a few artists. Then I realized some of the artists that I had booked. Wait, oh, which entity had that one? Because it's only like something where in a space. I know. No, it's another entity called Jamaica Village. Jamaica Village? Yeah, yeah. This is the well, this is our part of the Jamaica 50 committee no idea. no 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 these are or oh, is that before this government yeah man yeah man from last year oh man. okay okay, from last okay year, yeah, yeah, yeah. a company in Jamaica village, village was yeah. put was planning to in do Finsbury something Park, in yeah. Finsbury okay Park. okay on right. behalf of Jamaica on behalf of Jamaica okay, yeah. okay yeah, yeah you know yeah. that's why he said he felt bad you know competing against yes, Jamaicans Jamaica. for Jamaica, Jamaica. Okay, you know yeah. but I kept him in the picture as we go along and Tapazuki was there too because he used to manage Tapazuki too you know yeah, he said that radio, yeah, one yeah. Too, yeah you know and Tapazuki was there encouraging him too and then he just decided that okay I'm going to put my company's name on the line and we will go for it and you see one of the things is that what that we had in our favor was um his wife, you know, is a second generation Jamaica, you know, and he started his musical career in reggae music. So he felt that he, he was going to do this for Jamaica, you know, and to celebrate Jamaica's 50th anniversary. So we you know, started booking acts from then. And I remember when King Stitch dropped out, that, that, that was one of the things that wanted him to stop. Mm. Instead of going with it because he's an idol of King Stitch, you know, yeah. King Stitch was on the lineup, mm. you know, I mean, and when King Stitch dropped out, you know, what I mean, I mean, he felt it so bad and he just paused for it. For one week, I didn't hear anything from him. Mm. And I thought this thing wasn't going to happen and I stayed with it, stayed with it, stayed with it. And then as we kept going, 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 but when we got to January now, we realized that. I was having a, a little problem because I am talking to artists, you know, mm -hmm. and artists telling me some prices gone through the roof and some of them telling me how much first class tickets them want and business class ticket. I remember one group just their, their airfare alone was almost 32, 32, thousand pound just the airfare alone you didn't count salaries yet and then uh, you know rob looked at the list and he said to me you know copeland i know what the problem facing you i said what he said people here aeg the big company that was doing michael jackson's tour they hear copeland falls they're starting big so i tell you what i am going to select the artist them and he took it out of my hand january 20th and decided that he selected the artist, and he was the first one that interjected the, the dub poet section inside of it. Mm. And the first person he even called was Muta. But me hear the people are say, "Are you what? tell the man who for put on or who no for put No, on. sir. No, sir. Never. You know, <laughs> never. Right? He said it on your program. Remember, you asked him when you interviewed him, and he said, "Yes, I am the one who picked the artist, and I decided who." Mm -hmm. You know, he said it on a program, and even when the journalist interviewed him at the launch, he, he, yeah. he, he told them. So when I see things come out in the paper about, you know, we have fight against dance hall and all this kind of crap. No, we, what we're not researching yet. Why are you talking about the Finsbury Park thing and how that never manifests itself because we're not hearing nothing more about the Finsbury Park? So. Well, I don't know what was happening, and then finally in March. I was reading the paper when I think the Observer and I saw an article that came out that the 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 the, 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 pro, the, the pro, I guess the, the, the proprietor the producer of the of the event mm. put out an article that you know they're not gonna it's not gonna happen again you know um, the feels very parks okay. yeah yeah it wasn't gonna happen again right and it's like they threw in the towel you know and yeah. uh, and that was the end of it you know so but by then no. A lot of people who was on that part of it now start calling and they want to get on this one and I was being bombarded with calls and all them things and I'm trying to tell him then that I do have the... You have to do the selection. Selection. Mm. Because I am... So glad. you did just uh, connect the artist then where him select? Yeah, what happened? I 
then made a bunch of um, uh, artists that I forwarded to them that mm -hmm. I think would fit in. I had like 67 artists per night, you know. But when he started looking at the costs that, that some of them were charging, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because they have to add up the airfare. The mm -hmm. hotel is going from 300 pounds yeah. a day for hotel rooms. So airfare, the hotels, you know, um, salaries and mm -hmm. everything. It was just going through the roof one night, one night. And I have it the paper right here, can show you that. One night. The most you could take in at the gate with a sold out was £35,000. And the expense for that night was £98,968. Uh, artist was supposed to depend on it. You no, know, it was about four artists, four artists, artists. At, at that night. But a place of however they might charge. Yeah. The expense mm. was 98000 And the most you can bring in at the gate. 98000 pounds. Yeah. And, and the most you could have bring in at the gate is 30, yeah, 38000 pounds. Him look for me and said, this don't make no sense. So him just decided that. Well, obviously, it don't make no sense. Yeah. I mean, he looked like a madman that look for that and said, but to go and So what the nucleus of the, most of the artists, them are artists he picked that um, or actually on tour. So none of the artists, all right, as a coordinator, you never go back to the artist, the man say, Baz, look on the reality, $90,000, $30,000, it now works. So we can come to a compromise and see it work. You know what I you did? Never talk to them. I now. sent out an email to every one of them who I had a call and suggested. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, this thing started with six artists. Yeah. And I put on a lot of other people, suggested a lot of other people. Mm. That's why when I hear say I have fight against someone, well I can't fight against someone and I'm me. I fight for get put you on. Mm. And you was never even there before. Mm. You know, it don't make no sense. Mm. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so um <clears throat> so the whole point is is that it, it boils down to, to cost. Mm. That's the reality. The reality is no sponsorship, no you know this thing, you know. Yeah. And the company have put up their money, they never have no no the tourist board and all this thing like home here did the behind the other entity. Well tourist board no tourist board no 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 promote Jamaica and regular music still. Well, me no no. But me gonna tell you say I just did a day mm. if get little ginger beer for the for the comedy section. Mm -hmm. What is the company's money laid out doing everything? Yeah. And I mean we should be appreciated that a, a big company like that. Them don't need us. We need them. And, and if them can come and lay them them company name on the line, you know, to take us our music and our culture to put in 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 a situation like that we should be very grateful as a matter of fact he has committed not just for the, the jamaica 50 right he has committed now that each year wanted the two major tour right around the world with reggae all right but poor plan, we don't reach it up we could talk about the fisbury park and leading out of that because we happen we don't see that i go on again and that was the previous government the previous government did have an idea about Finsbury Park. No, no. Or it's not the government? No, it's not the government, from what I understand. So who did that do that? A, a company named um, Jamaica Village the Limited. Limited. Jamaica are outside of... No, I, Jamaicans. I Jamaicans. That's what I understand. So who are the Jamaicans that were involved in that company? I don't know nothing about that, the company. You don't know the company? Is, yeah, right? I just see... When I saw the article in the paper, when they, they made announcement that they it, they wasn't going to go further with... This are from last year? Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. No, this announcement was made March this year. Who I, make them? Who make the announcement? Um, um, the... the, the the, the gentleman and his daughter, I can't remember his name, you know what I mean? Who was, who are, who are the people that actually putting it on? Who are the head of the Jamaica village? Yeah, but when I say Copeland, the, co the people them who name the Jamaica village must have a name, Rasta. That's what them name, Jamaica village. The company registered. All right, so the company registered Jamaica village. That's how me here. And then now, the Jamaica village thing now nah keep again. Right. So why it nah keep, why the Jamaica Village thing never did that keep again? What caused that to flop this off? You yeah, asked the wrong person. Me Who can't, ask? You, me can't talk about AG because me planned that along with, with Mr. Hallett and, and Jenny and everybody. Me yeah, but we're not, I, I, we, we're not hearing nothing about the Jamaica Village. <laughs> they had this big conglomerate company. Where that, where that you have in a hand This is a 32, see my Jamaica Village too. Yeah. Safe. This is a 32 page blueprint of the plan because I got So this. what was the plan? The, the plan, plan the was, plan. the plan was to put it, to have this concert in Finsbury Park. Yeah, yeah. Right? And it's, the, the, I understand that, I understand that, um, it was built around expectation of about twenty to 30,000 people per day, mm. right? Then after it come down to reality of 15,000 per day for 12 days, I know that is impossible. 
because I I I I I, I do my calculation and I. Know I said yeah. Um, with, because number one, you have to understand, Finsbury Park is where they had that big disturbance last year. You remember yeah, the riot, the riot and things. So yeah. I know you, it, the government now go allow them to have another congregation inside. It. Right, especially so quick. So I knew that. So this Jamaica big. village people never did understand that. Well, I don't know. I don't know who was the experienced person inside. But me could have, if they didn't imply me, me could have said, well, they're running down the wrong road. They imply a big company named, um, named, um, 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 but them name again, um, Nation, some Nation business. Yeah, England. Yeah, a company.